Hey guys, what's up? It's Julia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited for today's video. I've been wanting to do this for the longest time. I'm going to be explaining the deeper meaning behind two of my songs. One is titled, and what is it? Oh, an original song about feeling lost, and the other is titled an original song about growing up. So I see these videos on Genius all the time of artists sharing maybe the process of how they wrote their song or the deeper meaning behind their lyrics, and I just think it's so interesting. So I'm going to be explaining what was going through my head, what my inspiration was, and just the deeper meaning behind what? Is that English? The deeper meaning behind my lyrics. We are going to start with an original song about feeling lost. So I wrote this one a very long time ago, and I posted it on my YouTube channel on November 7th, 2019. And I love this song so much. I really, the chorus is one of my favorite choruses I've ever written. It's super short, but I feel like it's really relatable. And yeah, let's listen to the first verse. Sometimes I just can't get I was obviously feeling very conflicted that day. My inspiration for this song was just the feeling of being stuck, not because maybe someone else is limiting you, but because you don't even know how to improve upon yourself. Does that make sense? I feel that way a lot, I'm sure you can relate, and I think everyone feels at times that they're, you know, there's so many voices going on inside your head, you don't know which ones to listen to, and sometimes you just feel stuck. It's like a civil war inside my mouth. That line just means like there's so much I want to say or my thoughts are conflicting and I'm not sure what to do. Oh my head it spins around and around. My words are loud yet they don't make a sound. My words are loud yet they don't make a sound means that even if I'm trying to do something and I try my hardest, sometimes it doesn't come off as I would have hoped it to. You feel like you're trying so hard but it's just not working or you're not getting better at something, you're not moving farther. So my words are loud yet they don't make a sound. It just feels like you're trapped and you can't be heard. Now it's time for the chorus. I get lost in my thoughts on the daily I'm ashamed to be afraid, but that's just how I'm made and it's okay to be unsure. Yes, it's okay to not know who you are anymore. I get lost in my thoughts on the daily. I am a very deep thinker. I am thinking 24-7. I want to take on every challenge, every obstacle, and I want to do everything that I dream of doing but I'm ashamed to be afraid. I'm ashamed to, I mean, that's pretty, that's really what it means. I'm afraid of letting myself down, letting others down, and I'm ashamed of that fear. I think if we don't put ourselves in positions where we feel uncomfortable, in a good way, not like doing something that's bad or, you know, unethical, but when we challenge ourselves, that's how we grow. And I've definitely found in my life that when I push myself to try something that I did not think I was capable of, nine times, well, I was gonna say nine times out of 10, I surprise myself, but sometimes I fail. But I'm 100% of the time glad that I tried because then I know what my next obstacle is. I forget the lyrics now. Oh, it's okay to not know who you are anymore. That's, I mean, I think like, <laughs> Obviously, I don't have as much life experience as many others, but I think as you grow up, you learn more about yourself and you grow as a person. Your core values stay the same, but you evolve as a human being and that's so important because it's boring to stay the same person with the same thoughts and same ideas your whole life. So it's okay to not really know who you are or just to be confused. That is it for that song, it's pretty short. Most of my songs are just like a verse and a chorus or maybe two verses and a chorus, um, except for my song My Place that's on iTunes and Spotify. Obviously that's a full song. Now let's move on to the original song about growing up. 
I remember uploading this one just after I'd written it and I uploaded it on August 28th, 2019. So that was a year ago at that time I was starting my, oh my gosh, I was starting my senior year of high school. It definitely makes sense why I wrote this song at this time. I mean, obviously being a senior, thinking about college, thinking about your future, like my junior and senior years of high school, I'm still a senior, but we're just college and my future is always on my mind. So I think any, any person growing up, but especially if you are a young person like going on to that next step, whether it's college, whether it's leaving your home or whatever, you can relate to the song because it's just about finding your place in the world. Don't listen to society. Don't listen to society is what they say, pave your way. It just depends on how you interpret this based off of your life. They, for you, could be your parents, they could be your friends, they could be your teachers, whoever is guiding you in your life. So don't listen to society is what they say, pave your way. It's just about people telling you to make your own path and really just be your own person, you know? Yeah. Can't stop worrying about what I'm trying to be Everyone thinks they know what's right It's my life Something that's always on my mind is where I see myself in 5 years, 10 years, 20 years What I want my future to look like And I think that if we get so caught up in what we want the future to look like We don't focus on what we're doing in the present And what we can do now to get where we want to go And like we've seen in this pandemic, so much time can pass and you're like, oh my god, where did a month go, a month and a half go? What am I doing now so in two weeks I wake up stronger, healthier, this much more accomplished, you know? I forget the lyrics again, hold on. Can't stop worrying about what I'm trying to be. Everyone thinks they know what's right. It's my life. The first line's about everyone saying to don't follow the herd, you know, make your own path, do your own thing. And then you're saying, I can't stop worrying about what I'm trying to be, what school I want to get into, what I want to accomplish in my career versus just living in the present, you know, living in the moment and enjoying life. It's my life, as in like, you want to take in all of the guidance and love everyone who supports you gives you, but you also have to find your own path. And that comes with learning things on your own. Then it goes into the chorus. Oh, sometimes I need to just learn on my own But how do I know which path will lead me home? I'm ready to grow, ready to know what's ahead Home could mean where you are now, home could mean where you want your home to be after you live your journey and, you know... Wait a minute. Basically, the beginning of the chorus is just saying some things I need to learn on my own and figure out myself and like I was saying earlier how you can take everyone's you know advice and support there are just some things that you don't know and you can't plan for and you just have to learn as you go how do I know which path will lead me home that's just really saying how do I know which path will be the right path whether it's which school will be the right school or which profession or which whatever big decisions you make in your life like how do how do you know because you really can't know you have to just trust your heart and trust your gut but how do you know that what you're doing now will get you where you want to be been learning the ropes for 17 years but why is there so much i still fear the world is so big how will i make my mark i love this lyric been learning the ropes for 17 years, but why is there so much I still fear? The world is so big, how will I make my mark? That's pretty self-explanatory, just, you know, how do I not only live up to everyone's expectations, not only find my path that will lead me to where I'm meant to be, but how will I make a mark on the world and how will I leave my footprint? When I was young, I thought I'd never grow So many things I didn't know I do. I think we all have this perception or idea when we're young. I mean, okay, at least for me, like, I remember when I was little watching a show on TV with teenagers when I was like eight or nine, looking at these kids who were, you know, 15, 16, thinking, like, oh my gosh, I'll never. I just could never see myself like looking that old or acting that way or whatever. Right now so I'm 18 and when I think about myself at 22, I can't even imagine because that's like, I don't know, it's just weird to think about and I'm sure I'll go back and watch this and be like, 
you haven't really changed. <laughs> as you grow up, obviously you learn more and things you thought as a kid, you know, you learn maybe that they are or are not true and you're just exposed to more about yourself and about the world that you didn't know. Never thought I'd see the day Neighbors pray that change is made What can I do? Before you were young and you were ignorant and naive not ignorant, you were a naive and you couldn't even imagine yourself at 15 but now you are grown up a little bit and you're seeing you're seeing your neighbors pray that change is made, you're reading the news, you're becoming just more aware of what's going on in the world, and now you're saying, what can I do? So then the chorus repeats. Oh, some things I need to just learn on my own, but how do I know which path will lead me home? I'm ready to grow, ready to know what's ahead. Been learning the ropes for seven And then finally, the last line is, it's only just the start. This whole song is an inner dialogue of, you know, I want to make my family proud, I want to make everyone who knows me proud, I want to make myself proud, I want to do all the right things to get to the right here so then I can look back and I don't have any regrets. And it's just this whole circle of like, how do I do everything right so I end up where I'm meant to be, but how do I even know what to do when you it's just a whole mess, right? So at the end, the last line is, it's only just the start, which is like a reminder that it's okay, you're young, like you don't have to have everything figured out. And again, this is like a huge reminder to me. A lot of my songs and my lyrics are what I try to tell myself. Like, it's okay because of course I'm human like everyone else. I have all these doubts and, you know, it can be stressful thinking about the future, whether that's two months from now or 10 years from now. So it's only just the start. It's just a reminder to take a deep breath. You're okay. You will get there. Everything happens for a reason and it's right time. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope you now have a deeper understanding of the lyrics in a few of my songs. If you want me to kind of dive deeper in my other songs, leave a comment down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Did I'm